Yo, 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 what is up, squad? It's your main man, Kid Stan. Today we're back for another finesse kid video. All right, so, all right, so, guys, 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 man, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy just think about everything that's going on, man. So, so just think about this, bro. Think about this. After many years of waiting and patience and watching other people play gpo of just you know just development going on and all this and that you find out that gpo is fine finally finally releasing you know after many years of just development and all this stuff and after you've waited and seen different youtubers just do what they do you find out that it's releasing november 14th and then boom you also find out that gpo is gonna cost 350 robux and it hits you man that's a decent that's a lot of robux right well if i'm being honest in for use case that's actually pretty cheap on his side but yes 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 and you have to make a decision am i going to buy gpo or not is it worth it is it a good game is it a bad game is it worth 300 robux well guys this is why i decided to make this video here to help you decide on whether it's worth it or not on whether it's a good game or not and whether you want to buy it or not now if you're expecting this to be a video about me just telling you whether if, if you're expecting this to uh, be a video of me telling you this is a good game or not like if you actually expect me to tell you like my own opinion just decide for you um no you know what like ultimately like at the end of the day that's all subjective and um that's actually gonna be that's how that's something that you have to decide for yourself uh i'm just gonna provide information for you and basically just tell you guys everything that you need to know uh or that, that i feel like you should know before buying the game um that will help you make your own decision okay so uh like i said i'm not gonna tell you i'm not gonna make the decision for you make the opinion for you um after watching this video and just hearing all of some of the facts some of the things that some of the big factors that i feel like you should know uh before buying is uh you know that's i feel like after you hear all that that's when you can decide for yourself to make that decision but uh before we get into the video all right before we get into the video if you guys can do me a huge favor if you are new please hit that subscribe button your boy's trying to get 30k by the end of november so we got about like we, we got about three weeks we got three weeks to get 30k all right three weeks to, or not yeah three weeks to get 30k uh right now we're sitting at 27.1k you guys have been super supportive you guys have been doing going crazy just showing love to the channel um so yeah we we're sitting at 27.1k we need about 3k more we got three weeks to get 3k to reach our goal of 30k before november all right now with that being said uh if you guys do if you guys do subscribe please turn on the notification bell so you know your boy uploads another dope video or when i do one of my dope live streams okay uh i'm constantly doing live streams i'm constantly just it, a lot of them are random they're usually all random so that's the point of turning on the notification bell because you don't want to miss out on those streams because i do show a lot of content we do have lots of fun and we do talk about a lot of different things um and the only way you'll really know is if you have the notification bell because i usually don't schedule them all right and don't forget to like the video if this video if you do find this video helpful now that's enough for that uh i already know i'm gonna get trashed on for the super long intro but oh well it's my channel <laughs> um but yeah so you're deciding on whether you want to buy gpo or not so there's a lot of things that there's a lot of factors that you should know uh when making this decision uh and i'm gonna cover a lot of them right i'm especially the ones that i've heard a lot uh personally um, um just from people in general and so basically i'm just gonna try my best to answer a lot of those questions so the first thing we're gonna go into is 
what exactly is gpo like what is the game what is gpo what do you do in gpo and uh what's the what's the purpose of playing so i'm gonna tell you guys straight up for it right if you guys are expecting gpo to be one of those games that you just hop in and get your favorite devil fruit and then you just you know leave this is not the game for you all right i'm gonna i'm gonna be i'm gonna be upfront with you and we're gonna go into why all right it really expect this to be one piece awakening or, or blocks fruits where you just kind of easily just get whatever fruit you want it's not that simple trust me i wish it was i do wish it was personally as a content creator uh but it's not okay so gpo is actually supposed to be uh a real i feel like a real one piece experience um in some sense in some sense it is supposed to be a real one piece experience uh you start off the game on you know the starter island and you know you start doing quests you start going around and basically you know you just go through the quest and do your best to level up so this is a leveling game you know uh this is a quest grinder i will say that so in that aspect it is a quest grinder indeed uh you will be doing a lot of quests you'll be doing quests repeatedly you'll be farming the same quest over and over from time to time bro trust me it will be like that um and honestly a lot of people are asking if it's super grindy um personally speaking it's not bad um it's not horrible i, I mean i i feel like i kind of have like a uh, uh an altered opinion just because i played the game when the grind was absolutely horrible like dog trash like ridiculously grindy um and for you fix it i will say that he listened to uh his testers his players and he fixed it and made it a lot less grindy than it was before he also made npcs weaker and he made uh like he gave he made it so that we actually become stronger so there is some sense of progression in the game uh but like i said with i use i also use double exp so that does make it a little faster uh but yeah the game is there is a grind to it but it's a doable grind um it's not a horrible grind there's certain games that i've seen you guys play um that are just ridiculously grindy and you guys thug it out and i'm just like i don't know how you do it and you know it's like okay people don't mind but if, you know I, I will say it's not worse than soul eater resonance okay um if you can grind that game you can grind this game for sure um especially if you have the robux to spend on wxp if you have robux to spend on the exp the grind is really it's it's not it's not hard all right it is a grind but it's not a like too hard of a grind i will say that much um and for the most part you're going to be going from island to island grinding and basically grinding cash and stuff to get right um i will say though that this game is a game that is harder to play without devil fruits okay so back to what I, my comment earlier um about if this if you expect this to be a game that you can just hop in to get your favorite fruit you're not it's not gonna happen all right so the dove fruits that are currently in the game are suke bari bomu um hi magu mera and pika i believe that, yeah I, those are all the ones that are in the game currently um or well actually bomu won't even release oh actually no it just it just started it just got released so yeah it will be in the game by the time you guys play it because it's in testing right now um so yeah there's there's definitely that uh and devil fruits actually spawn every two to four hours so yeah and no i did not see that mistakenly it's every two to four hours so the bare minimum that a devil fruit can spawn is every two hours but that's th that doesn't mean that it's a guaranteed spawn at every two hours which is kind of like trippy because you don't know exactly what you're gonna get um there are often times where a devil fruit will spawn at the two hours and uh there are times where it doesn't spawn the, the, in, the in the first two hours and it'll spawn at the third hour for example if i start if i start a server at 12 p.m um there's a chance that it will spawn at two o'clock three o'clock or four o'clock which is 
pretty crazy, all right? So there's a chance they can spawn at either of those three, but it's not a guarantee to either of them. The only one that it's a guarantee to is the is that if it doesn't spawn at two or three, you're guaranteed to get a dub fruit that spawns at four. So you kind of have to like keep track of your time and farm this in a way to where you know exactly when dub fruits are spawning, what time you have to log your times, you're gonna have to farm them, and you're definitely going to have to uh basically just keep track of everything, do your math, and yada la 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 blah blah blah. Yeah, you're gonna have to do all that stuff, bro. And um so if it doesn't spawn at two, it's either gonna spawn. It does, if it doesn't spawn at the two hour mark, it's gonna spawn at either the next three hour mark or the next four hour mark. It's it's either or. You can literally get uh get, it could end up not spawning uh until like the like four hours from the time the server starts. Is it, it can be that way. Um, and the worst part is, is that there's a high chance that's gonna be Suke. All right, there's a high chance that's gonna be Suke. So. Lokias and uncommon fruits are extremely rare in this game. So not only are Delph fruits going to be extremely rare, uh, mainly just because of server time, and you won't really be able to track when fruits are spawning because you won't be able to know the server time. The the game doesn't give you a server time. The only way that we're able to track now in testing is because we're able to kind of just like start servers ourselves because there aren't as many people playing. But when there's hundreds or thousands of people who are playing the game, um, it's gonna be impossible to know when the server time or what the server time is. And that'll make it possible for you to calculate, all right, when is the next Delft fruit going to spawn? Now, the only way that you can kind of figure this out is right here this right here is the devil fruit notifier so the dev fruit notifier is a is a dev product and allows it gives you one hour to know if a fruit spawns within that hour or not so within that hour um if a fruit spawns the dev fruit notifier will tell you and basically something will go a dev, a dev fruit has spawned like literally like that and that like super high pitched voice and it'll kind of make like this like this effect popping up or where like in the general direction of where the fruit has spawned and basically when that happens you kind of just have to look around and see and look for this effect but the thing is you want to have you want to find it as soon as possible um because it doesn't last forever so this effect lasts for about like five to ten seconds i would say and you just kind of have to look around as to what direction it was going it? As, oh my goodness that threw me off yo shout out to standoff bffs thank you so much for hitting that subscribe button welcome to the squad but uh we'll wait for that <laughs> but uh yeah so you're gonna have to just kind of figure out and you know we're gonna have to keep track of it and head in that general direction and make sure you just keep track and, and lock on to that uh so if it's like if i see that spawn like over there i'm gonna want to make sure i usually i'll keep my mouse right on where i saw the circle that pops up and i'll just like seal over there and not move my mouse at all so you do want to keep track of that um but when you're getting when you're having a multiple servers bro it's going to be nearly impossible um to keep track of if a dove fruit spawn now with the dev product it only lasts one hour now this kind of stinks i'll be honest because fruits can spawn the bare minimum for fruits to spawn for, for fruits to spawn is two hours and uh it can go from anywhere from two to four hours so it's like one hour you're gonna have to just hope that you're basically gambling and hoping that within that next hour that the fruit is going to spawn i feel like once you do that if you just stay in that server you can try to calculate all right when is the next fruit going to spawn you can uh kind of anticipate uh what times uh that the fruit may or may not spawn um now with that being said guys i've been i've been farming dough fruits for about a week and a half now and the only time i found something that wasn't suke was once all right barry Bar barry was found in my server uh technically it was found by sage but i was when i started the server um and that was the only time something that wasn't suke uh spawned within testing in the past week right the past week last no last week right last week there was only two logias that spawned out of seven days a logia only spawned twice and they were both ice um logias have a, a i believe a one percent chance 
of spawning if i'm not mistaken i'm not sure don't quote me on that but i know it's extremely low okay so think about it two to no a death fruit spawning every two to four hours seven days a week and only two logia spawned all week so you can kind of anticipate basically the rates of that. Like I said, I do I do believe a Logia spawn rate is like under is like one percent. Uh, so you have a one percent chance of getting Mera, Pika, Magu, um, or or Ice. Okay, I had a brain fart. I was trying to remember what the last one was. Um, or Ice, a one percent chance. Um, yeah. So <laughs> if you think about getting a Logia, uh, it's not gonna be that simple. Um, in addition to that this game bro uh this game is not meant to be played by itself so there's another thing there's another factor to take into consideration uh, if you don't plan on playing this game if you plan on playing this game by yourself uh it's gonna be pretty difficult especially when people are running around in crews ganking each other and just messing each other up playing this game by yourself is gonna be difficult for you for you made it really clear that this game was intended to be played in groups and with friends Oh, uh, crews or the marine system yada 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 so you don't have friends who either plan on, on buying the game or like you know we're in testing um this game is gonna be a little bit difficult to play bro and, and when the especially when there's freaking hundreds or thousands of people playing um so i will say that much uh so try you know if you guys are just like solo roblox players you guys don't plan on join join it like on discord or i'm not saying it's impossible i'm just saying it's gonna be a little difficult and it's gonna be grindy and it's gonna be depressing i'll be honest with you uh especially with the boss farms now there are bosses in this game so there are boss farm uh farming in this game uh bosses who drop you know s you know different items they give you like stat boosts and stuff like that some give weapons uh right here i got buggy's cape so this actually as you guys can see gave me like 50 plus hp um it's just a whole bunch of like different uh stuff like different drops that you can get um those are like no you can't solo those like no one can solo those unless they have like boosted stats um like all the bosses you're just gonna have to fight with somebody either that or you're gonna have to die multiple times and uh some of the bosses do heal so you don't have to take that into consideration um in addition to that uh do expect to if, if you play this game bro i will say bro playing this game without robux um is not going to be super fun um the game is i will say significantly and noticeably more difficult without robux um mainly just without two times exp and without the devil fruit notifier and uh now we got the boss drops you know the, the two times uh drop rates those things are will make the game a lot easier just because the rates in this game are super low um and it's just like you know just like mentally draining so like to be honest like i sacrifice a lot of robux just so the game isn't as difficult as it is um and don't get me wrong like robux is it's not pay to win i do say i will say it's pay uh for luxury <laughs> it's, it's just being privileged i'll be honest bro it's just a privilege to be able to uh have things like a little bit easier for you um in addition to that um i will say that there's a lot of arcane uh i don't know if the main game will be like that when it releases but as far as you know like testing goes do expect to be fighting people do expect to be going at it with other people um you're gonna have to farm a lot of money for like just by getting styles and unlocking ones like like fighting styles and stuff like that like black leg i have black leg black leg i think it's like the cheapest one honestly um like one sort style i think ethereal said it cost him like it, it was like 12k to learn one sort style and when you learn a style it doesn't mean you learn the skills like it literally just means all right you learned the style now you got to go back to the teacher and buy all the skills so i think black leg should take like another like i think i don't know maybe like another 20k like there's a, a total 20k to learn i know buso hockey takes like 25k to to unlock you have to you have to pay 25k for a quest and then kill like 100 yetis i haven't even gotten and gone i haven't even gone and gotten buso hockey yet uh just because that's a grind that i just been putting off um and there's just like a lot of factors um but yeah if you guys do plan on playing this game just know that you're going to be grinding that 
things are going to be like diff a little difficult to get um you know you're not just going to get anything easy you know on your first try unless you have like crazy rng um do expect to like grind like in-game money and grind levels and just like basically have to play with friends and yeah it's just like this is a lot of different factors that you do have to take into consideration and um but yeah that's really the type of game that it is um like i said i'm not here to tell you on whether the game is good or not i'm not here to tell you oh yeah you should 100 percent buy this game or no this game's horrible you shouldn't buy it like i said it's for you to make your own decision based on based on the information that i shared with you um on, on whether this is the type of game that you want to play and uh buy or not now uh with that being said i hope this video was somewhat useful i hope it did give you some insight on gpo and uh you know like i said you have to make up your own decision but uh i hope you guys did enjoy this video if you guys did do me a huge favor once again if you are new hit that subscribe button and if you are subscribed and haven't done so please turn on the notification bell and uh don't forget to hit that like button too but with that being said until next time guys we are out